Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking, where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a huge kitchen clean and organise with me. So I want to go through all of my cabinets and clear them out, clean them and just put them back in a much more organised way and get rid of any food, things that have gone off and things that have just sat there for ages that we're clearly not going to eat. So before I start this video I want to say as well I'm not the tip like Pinterest picture perfect kitchen organization with all the glass jars and things for me personally that's not realistic to my lifestyle I feel like it would be a lot more effort than I would actually get out of it and I feel like it costs a lot in the first place to buy all these different containers so I have a couple of containers I have a couple of useful organization tools um, like the shelves within a cupboard I have a pan lid organization um, holder I have a plate rack and just little things like that that are much more easy to use user friendly easier to set up and don't take loads of effort to maintain so I feel like I've got my kitchen now to a point I've organized it quite a few different times and I've got it to a point now where it has worked for us lifestyle wise so I just wanted to go through it again and just give it one more big organization clean through I like to do this every couple of months just to refresh everything and to clean the inside of my cabinets because you would not believe how dirty they get so I really hope you enjoy this video I hope you get plenty of cleaning motivation from it if you do enjoy cleaning videos then please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and let's just get straight on in to the video. Okay, so first I'm starting with the boring job of just doing the dishes. I feel like whenever I do anything in the kitchen, I always have to have the dishes done first. So I'm just going to clear up the sides. I had a few things to put in the recycling. I'm just going to task Paul with taking that out later. And then I'm just going to wash the dirty dishes from the day. Yeah, I know I was probably crazy Thinking someday you would change there's nothing left to do now, so I'm playing the game And so, heartbreaker, I've been working you out You made loads of mistakes, but none that you talk about I'm watching every move you make and I'm on to you Come on, heartbreaker, give in and surrender to me I'm then going to move on to drying and putting away the dishes that I've just washed. Out of porcelain ego, talking fast and punching low, making sure that there are no traces of thinking I could have done better. Yeah, I know I was probably crazy, thinking someday you'd change. So now to start with the cupboard organisation, I'm going to start with these drawers. So I'm just going to take everything out. I like to give it a quick hoover to get rid of any crumbs or anything obvious. And then I'm going to go in with the pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. Come on, 
that is the cutlery drawer done and now I'm moving on to this drawer that I keep utensils and a couple of other things so again I'm just taking everything out I'm going to hoover and then wipe it down and then put everything back in in a more organized way oh my love You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed and then finally the last drawer is where I keep all my different cloths and my tea towels so I'm just going to clean it the same way and then refold all my tea towels and put it back together When I say But I'm trying to shelter you from pain And oh my love, the seasons come But I hope you know that I, I won't moving on to my spice cupboard so again I'm just going to pull everything out and give it a good clean and then I'm going to put back the spices I'm going to try and put them back in the order that I kind of use them although I will be honest I use a lot of spices in my cooking so this cupboard is the quickest thing probably to get disorganized but this is just the best way I found that works for me is using these little shelves within a cupboard and it just helps me to see what I'm getting out a lot easier it also provides a lot more storage room as well always in bloom for so many times I've stranded a castaway and I'm now sure of those stranger in the sky
now moving on to this cupboard where I keep a couple of pans and cooking utensils and jugs so again just going to take everything out and then clean it for some reason when I put things back I like to put them back on the opposite side that I took them from for me it just feels like I've actually done something it's a little bit more satisfying so there's no reason to have moved the pans from the left to the right but I just like doing things like that sometimes And now I'm moving on to my baking cupboard. So I'm just going to take everything out and give it a good clean down. As you can see from this clip, the cupboards were really, really dirty. So they needed a good scrub. I have no idea what that dirt was. And now to finish off my baking cupboard, I'm just going to put everything back. So this is the cupboard that's probably the least organised and it's because I keep a lot of my bigger pans and things like that in there and it's quite hard to organise them because they are so big. So I'm just going to take everything out, give it a good clean and then I'm just going to put it back in the most organised way I can do. I think sometimes people have their standards way too high for kitchen organisation that it's just not reasonable long term. So then as soon as things start getting a little bit unorganised it's easy then just to let everything go so I try and keep it as simple as possible so I'm just going to put everything back as tidily as I can and then it will be easier to maintain Now moving on to where I keep all my plates and my bowls and my baking trays so I'm not going to take everything out of this and clean it just because I just couldn't be bothered to be honest and <laughs> I feel like it's had a bit of a clean down recently so I'm just going to move things around just to tidy it up and I was so excited to find this Halloween little bucket so I'm going to fill it with sweets for all the trick-or-treaters in a couple of weeks. And now I'm just going to clean down the doors of that cupboard. Now 
Now moving in to where I keep my breakfast cereals, crisps and snacks. So I'm just going to take everything down and give it a good scrub. I got rid of two Tupperware things that were just cluttering up space and I also like to empty the crisps out of the multi-pack bag into a container. For some reason in my head that is just so much more organised. And then for my snacks and my crisps I keep them in a clear big Tupperware container just so you can see what you're getting to and it's easy just to throw everything in there. I know the sign was given it's in the way you move and now moving on to my dried food cupboard so again just going to take everything out give it a good clean and then put everything back the best way I can still in the end we'll fall apart so it's hopeless that we stay close but it's the life that we chose it takes time to get it right sleepless days and nights we just need a little more just a little time for you and i so stay Cause when it's good, it's great So we can't see we're fading away So it's hopeless that we stay close But it's the life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time Now moving on to what I think is the cupboard of doom in many people's kitchens which is where I keep my Tupperware. <laughs> so it actually wasn't too bad today because I have recently organised it but I just wanted to move it around a little bit more and just make it look a tad better. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it back. I'm moving on to my kitchen organization so I do actually have a lot of food in my fridge a lot of pre-cooked foods and I feel like that is the hardest thing to make look nice we don't buy a lot of drinks and things like that I feel like back in the day when I used to watch cribs they always had like loads of different drinks lined up and it always looked so organized and I always thought that's how I would keep my fridge when I moved out of my parents house but I think the reality is that's just not the case so I have a lot more real food and a lot more real cooking going on which makes my fridge look a lot more messier however I will sacrifice an organized fridge for delicious food any day of the week okay so I'm just gonna take everything out and then give it a good clean we did actually have a little bit of a milk leak this morning so I wanted to make sure I gave it a good clean down just so it didn't end up smelling so I took everything out and used the pink stuff to give it a good clean and then again I'm just gonna put everything back as clean and tidily as possible possible. Shaking cause you're holding 
Okay, so I'm just gonna interrupt any kind of time lapse that is going on to show you the organization of my fridge. So I know it's not picture perfect, but this is a realistic fridge organization for me. So I actually do the opposite of what most people do. So this is the vegetable drawer. I actually keep raw meat in it and in a separate Tupperware container just because I don't want it going near any of the other foods and it just makes sense to me at the bottom because if it's at the top and there's any like juices and things it will fall down onto the other food so I feel like that's the most hygienic way to do that then above here I keep my vegetables and again I keep them in separate containers so let me just show you what's in here there's parsley garlic onions and then I have some potatoes there this is a pre-packaged roast dinner <laughs> for Paul's dinner tonight, so I'm not going to touch that. Then we have some pre-cooked meats. I have my Greek yogurt that I've been having for breakfast recently. We have a fresh cream cake that we bought from the shop and some actamels, some stalk butter that I use for cooking and some cheese. Then on this side, at the top, we keep our like sauces and chutneys. On the second tray down, we have our sauces. This is looking good for us. Normally we are sauce obsessed and can never have too many. And then on the last tray, we keep all our milk. I appreciate we have a lot of milk. <laughs> I like to have whole milk in the evenings and I like semi-skimmed in my tea. And I do drink a lot of tea, so that's why we have so much. So that is the fridge organization. And now we're gonna get back to the kitchen, organizing and cleaning. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you the current state of of the sides of my kitchen so when I'm clearing out I kind of just bundle everything onto the sides and deal with it after so that is the fridge and all the cabinets are clear and organized so now to finish off this clean and organize with me I'm just going to do one big clean and organization of the kitchen surfaces also I know I already did the dishes at the start of this video but there is now more since I made an egg scramble at lunchtime in the middle of this video so I need to sort that out as well. Nothing can hurt us
the things you said just to hurt me. My love just went cold, but I'm still burning. My love just went cold. Why? I keep on making the same mistake. Okay, so that is my kitchen clean and organised with me complete. It's now looking a lot cleaner and more organised and I feel so much better about it. It's so much nicer cooking, I think, in a clean and organised kitchen. So I'm feeling really happy about that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've got loads of cleaning motivation out of it and I bet you loads of you are going to go and clean your kitchens now. That's what I do whenever I watch a cleaning video. <laughs> it always just motivates me to get up and do my own house. So I hope it has given you those vibes today if you have enjoyed today's video then please subscribe and give this a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one